welcome to the Healthy Grocery Girl Show. I'm Megan Roosevelt, registered and licensed dietitian in your Healthy Grocery Girl. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what's inside my refrigerator. A few videos ago I shared with you what's inside my freezer and if you have not watched that video yet I recommend to go watch it. However, today I'm going to share with you what's inside my refrigerator. So, oh, let's go inside and check it out. Reporting to you live from my refrigerator, where I'm gonna share with you what's inside. You may have been on the edge of your seat, unable to sleep for days, just wondering what the heck is in Healthy Grocery Girl's refrigerator. Is she gonna have jello molds, jello molds with fruit? Is she gonna have all sorts of casseroles? Stay tuned, coming up next. Okay, so first up, I have a lot of greens. I make a green smoothie for myself every single morning for breakfast. I also sometimes like to make an extra green smoothie later in the day with just pure vegetables and a little bit of fruit. Um, if you're cu curious about these recipes for my morning and afternoon smoothies that I like to do, go to healthygrocerygirl.com, go to my blog, I put all that info up there. Um, but I'm just going to kind of dive in and show you what I got. So we have cucumbers here, these are organic. Um, I like to put a whole cucumber in my smoothie, and there's a lot of good health benefits in here, vitamin C, cucumbers have a lot of water content, which is great. Um, here we have some green onion, which um, is really great to put on top of like vegan chili, um, really good to put on anything, salads. Uh, we also have some asparagus here, which is lovely. Um, here we have some organic girl, we have some arugula, but I love all organic girl. Spinach, food kale, romaine, mixed greens. I don't discriminate, I like all greens. I also have a very large container here of romaine lettuce. I have it, whoops, I have it in this little container here because I like to uh, put this, put romaine also in my green smoothie. So a good uh, water content in romaine as well as other health benefits. So having it in here, kind of uh, pre-washed, grab and go style is great. I just picked up some of this, so that's why it's in the grocery store baggies here. Kale, organic kale, really great for um, making kale chips. I also really love to steam kale and um, put that in a bowl with brown rice and uh, beans and things like that. Broccoli, which is a great green cruciferous vegetable, which means it helps uh, well, cruciferous vegetables can help prevent cancer. Uh, we have, let's see, we have some leftovers here. I went to Native's Food Cafe. I don't know if you've ever been there, but I got the OC Raw Chopper Salad. So this is a little bit leftover from that meal. We also have some tortillas here. So we have Ezekiel uh, sprouted green tortillas. And then we also have the brown rice tortillas as well. I love myself some tortillas. These are fantastic for quick lunch. Take one of these babies, add some hummus or some avocado, maybe mash up some beans, uh, some veggies, call it a lunch. I also have some baby carrots in here, uh, which I really like to use with hummus. So I kind of rotate between hummus, between King Harvest and Lilies, which are both Portland, Oregon based, but they're both fantastic, love them lots. Um, other veggies I have, little cherry tomatoes, I like to put those on a salad. Um, let's see, we'll go up top here. I have some sliced lemons because I like to do hot water with lemon first thing in the morning every day. It really helps with cleansing and detoxing and helps boost uh, energy levels. I also have some chia pods. So these are a great alternative to yogurt if you're trying to get away from dairy. These are made with coconut milk. Um, this one is the banana, so just chia seed, a uh, gel, which is filtered water and chia seeds, it creates that like gel gelatinous consistency, banana puree, and coconut milk. Wow, super simple. Um, there's that. I have some salsa in there. I also have maple syrup. I kind of have two different options here, grade A, grade B. Um, and I use these, you know, baking, um, sometimes making homemade salad dressing. It's really nice to add a little bit of that into your salad dressing. I also, um, we get filtered water. So we get this at the store. This baby, I think it has two gallons in here. Um, it's empty, so I need more water. <laughs> like literally just ran out of this today. Um, but we fill this up at the store, um, get ourselves some filtered water. 
Let's see, we have organic tomato paste in the glass. Um, since tomato is acidic, you really want to make sure that you're getting tomato sauce, tomato paste, things like that, not in a can, which may contain BPAs, which the acid acidity from the tomatoes could leach uh, BPA possibly from the can. So getting it in the glass, you're good to go. Oh, enchilada sauce, this is organic enchilada sauce. We make the best uh, cashew cream kale enchiladas. Put this on there, oh my gosh. Lunch, dinner, delicious. And here I have little oranges, little tangelo clementine dudes. These, uh, these are nice. Nice little snackage. I have more lemon down here. I'm a lemon girl. And then behind me, ah, I have um, apple cider vinegar. This is really good for um, making salad dressing. It's a really great tonic. You know, you can mix it with uh, uh, sparkling water. Uh, I also have my beloved J.K. Sue. We have the cranberry flavor here and the nashi uh, Japanese pear. It's actually Genke Sue, <laughs> to pronounce it right. Um, and this is basically uh, drinking vinegar, similar to apple cider vinegar, but this also has um, a little bit of honey in it um, and a little bit of flavor, like this has pear flavor in it. So, um, and how you use that is I put about a tablespoon in with uh, eight ounces of sparkling water. It's gonna give you a similar beverage experience to kombucha. Quite different. Um, I also have up here almond milk. A couple different options. Put almond milk and tea, um, oatmeal, do that once in a while. We also have, um, here we have some sun butter. You know I love Justin's nut butter. Um, but that I get in the little packets and those are on my, in my pantry, which I guess I should make another video to show you what's in my pantry, huh? Uh, we also have some Hail Mary macaroons. I love these. Delish. Um, let's see consistent down here. I have <laughs> raw sauerkraut. This is really good. Uh, probiotics help boost the immune system, boost digestion. Um, love it. I sometimes will just have like a couple bites of it before dinner is my way to kind of get some in. Um, we also have pickles because sometimes we want a pickle. Sometimes you want a pickle. And then um, up here we have avocado ah, and onion and then uh, we have some supplements. So here we have golden flax chia, cacao powder, local bee pollen, this is a super cool find. So this is coconut water that's dehydrated. Um, I think this was like 10 bucks and it has uh, uh, 25 servings in this container. Um, this little package and it, you just put a tablespoon of this in with your smoothie and add water and voila, you have coconut water. Um, I also have chia seeds and then <laughs> maca powder. So those, I know I'm going really fast, but those are all of the supplements. And I'm going to put all this information up on my blog. So if you're feeling like, whoa, slow down, what was that product? I'm going to put all of this information up on healthygrocerygirl.com with links to the websites where you can check out all this good stuff. So that's a little overview of what's in my fridge. Other things that sometimes pop up in my fridge, uh, I like to make a big pot of brown rice or quinoa for the entire week. Um, I've eaten through that already, so there's none of that to share with you, but that's something I do on a weekly basis. On Sundays, I make that. I also like to sometimes make a big pot of chili, a big pot of vegetable soup, um, to have that to eat throughout the week as well. Um, maybe different greens, different veggies. Sometimes I'll have Dave's Killer Bread. You know, it really depends on what I'm making that week to eat, but these are really staples that I have all the time. Lots of greens, some tortilla shells, hummus, carrots, um, uh, maple syrup, lemon, got some supplements, got my almond milk, got my nut butter. So these are some staples I, oh, ow. <laughs> now if you're wondering about how I store my food, these containers are my favorite. The brand is Sistema, Sistema, and they are BPA free. Um, I like them because glass is the bomb.com, but these are a little bit more lightweight which makes them really nice. You know, if you want to take this with you for the day, it's not so heavy. Um, so these are fantastic. They have all different sizes, shapes, whatever your fancy is. I bought these particular ones at the container store, but um, you can also get them online on the internet. We're here at 
my fridge. <laughs> Showing you what's inside. We're heating up my fridge. <laughs> it's no surprise. <laughs> I got greens. <laughs> I got fruit. <laughs> Healthy food <laughs> is um cool. <laughs> I got lemon and cherry tomatoes too. <laughs> they are so good for you. Filtered water tastes so supreme. <laughs> Maple syrup makes you scream. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Food that's healthy is good for you. <laughs> tastes so good. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Shopping with my car every single week. <laughs> Do you guys know that I film all of these episodes by myself? I don't know if if you think that that's incredibly impressive, or if you're incredibly concerned for my, for my social well-being, but um, I'm alone. Just me and the camera, which is you, the world. The world is through that lens. If you want more of this information, go to healthygrocerygirl.com. If you think this video was super snazzy and you want to share it with someone who would possibly think that it's super snazzy as well, please do. Sharing is caring. Pass this video along. And as always, connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, and again, HealthyGrocerGirl.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing what's in my fridge, getting a little sneak peek into my life. Hopefully found some new ideas that you're excited to try. And I'll see you next time.